Alright, Tori, so I thought of a new type of video that I was going to try making where I basically just go through Wikipedia and go through their random articles until I come up on something that I find somewhat interesting and then I do a little research on it and at the very end I just kind of explain what I found out. So the first one piqued my interest a little bit so I thought I'd do some research on this. It led me to what the Delhi Durbar was and so yeah, I'm just going to click through, find out a couple things about it, and then just kind of report back at the end. Alright, so basically these medals were just medals that were given out during the Delhi Durbar ceremonies uh, and they were given out to ruling chiefs and other government officials in India so that led me to what the Delhi Durbar is so the Delhi Durbar was basically a ceremony within India used to introduce the Indian people to the new emperor or empress of India which would be the king or queen of the British Empire and so overall, only three of these ceremonies ever actually happened. Uh, there was one in 1877 for Queen Victoria, which was just the inaugural kind of one that they had. And then the next one was in 1903 when Edward VII became the king. And this one they're talking about was kind of the biggest celebration, two full weeks of festivals, festivities for the festival. Edward VII didn't even go. So it was just kind of to celebrate him. And then there was one in 1911 when George V took over. Uh, and this one was pretty much just like the one of 1903, but it was a little bit smaller. And then you get into it to where it talks about uh, why that was the last Durbar was because Edward VIII became king after that. But then he abdicated in December 1936, which was the same year he became king. And then his successor, George VI, took over. And he never actually did visit India. It says the Indian National Congress passed the motion weeks after his accession, calling for a boycott of any visit. And so it was just kind of put on hold for a while. But then he still wanted to visit the country. But in October of 1937, I'm looking forward with interest and pleasure to the time when it will be possible for me to visit my Indian Empire. This never actually happened because of World War II, so he was all caught up in that. After World War II ended, there was the movement for Indian independence, which eventually happened in, I believe, uh, 1947. So it meant that he was never actually able to go. And so that's why they only had three of these little festivals. So yeah, that's basically all you need to know about this subject. Hopefully future videos like this will be a little bit more refined and look a little better. But this is the first one, so there we go.